、いい正解。Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 98, Demonstration. From the first day since Jing Chu Chu and Jing Guan Sheng came to visit, there was a subtle change in the atmosphere in the Shen residence. Everyone knew that old Shen Furin was selfish and stingy by nature and was not warm or magnanimous, but facing the grand nephew and grand niece from her maiden family that she had not met for so many years, she did not show any cold expression. But treated them so very kind and warmly that she often gave them gifts and money. However, these two people actually seemed to intend to stay in the residence for a long time as there were no intentions of leaving, because old Shen Furin treated them politely. When the servants saw that they also treated them politely, in the eastern courtyard of the Shen residence, at one of the side rooms of Kai Yan Yu An, Wan Yi Niang was knotting a string bag, and the colorful strings quickly formed a complex shape as she spoke to Shen Dongling, who was sitting behind the folding screen practicing calligraphy. Has old Furin changed her temperament? This good treatment towards Bi A young lady and Bi A young master is almost better than Ling Er's already. There are no mistakes in old Furin's calculations. Shen Dongling sat behind the folding screen, and her facial color was much better than before. At least it was not as pale as previously. Now that Shen Gui c o m e over often to Wan Yi Niang's to sit, he also started to give her more attention and sent over a lot of nutritious herbs. Shen Gui's attitude gave a clue to everyone in Kai Yan Yu on, but some people still had the wait and see attitude, as even though Ren Wan Yan went crazy, there was still a Di Young master, Shen Yuan. No matter if Wan Yi Niang was able to regain favor, Shen Dong Ling was after all only a daughter. Ling Er also felt that it is somewhat odd. Wan Yi Niang's hands stopped, but for what reasons does old Furin treat those two people for? Shen Dong Ling smiled. Old Furin naturally hoped that some people would be attracted to young lady and young master. Wan Yi Niang suddenly smartened up and understood it. She looked towards Shen Dong Ling. Who does old Furin want them to be close with? Small family without any power or prospects, and also from old Furin's maiden family. Shen Dong Ling carefully placed her brush down. Whoever old Furin hate the most, naturally it would be them. Just as Shen Dong Ling was speaking, in the western courtyard at the training courtyard for swordplay, Shen Kaiyu and Shen Xin just finished practicing a round and let their subordinates continue practicing. While they got ready to rest a while, when they saw a yellow-clad young female walking over towards the courtyard, this young female had a countenance of a flower and face like the moon, with a delicate and timid appearance. There was also a bamboo basket around her wrist, which was carried in a way where it made one look pitiful. She walked over to the edge of the courtyard and lowered her head as she called out, "Biao, older brother! Biao, Shu!" It was precisely Jing Chu Chu. Luo Zuyan was currently at another end, giving pointers to soldiers, and Shen Xin and Shen Kaiyu were somewhat surprised upon seeing Jing Chu Chu. Shen Kaiyu took a step forward and said, "What is Bi A younger sister here for?" When he spoke the words "Bi A younger sister," he felt not used to them because, after all, he had never seen Jing Chu Chu for all these years, and to suddenly gain an additional Bi A younger sister. It was difficult for anyone to accept it. Jing Chu Chu smiled shyly and placed the bamboo basket around her wrist down on a stone platform before speaking softly. Chu Chu had personally made some snacks, thinking that Biao older brother and the rest would be tired after practicing swordplay. One made these things, hoping that Biao older brother and Biao Shu would not despise. After which she lowered her head to open the lid and took out a few dishes of snacks out of it. Those snacks were made delicately and smelt sweet and fragrant. Shen Xin had not yet said anything, but Shen Kaiyu the glutton was already swallowing his saliva. Shen Xin was also somewhat comforted that even though she was timid and delicate, it looked like she treated others sincerely. Other than being a little timid, a young lady who is skillful at making snacks would be welcomed by others. Especially when this young lady looked good too. Luo Zuyan was a female general. How would she know how to make soup? Thus Shen Xin and Sun had a good impression of such a young lady who can cook like this. Jing Chu Chu said, had received hospitality for these days, so one's heart felt guilty. Chu Chu does not have any ability and can only make some snacks to show one's appreciation. Look at this. 
even know how to recompense on a debt of gratitude. Shin Zin and Sun liked people who were well mannered and thoughtful the best. Military generals valued relationships and Ging Chu Chu's performance was indeed not bad. Shen Kaiyu said, be a younger sister do not need to worry and just treat this as your home. There is no talk about hospitality in one family. Jing Chu Chu lowered her head down shyly and Shen Kaiyu picked up a piece of pastry before speaking with a smile, then I would not be polite. Just as he was about to bite down, he suddenly heard a voice from behind, eldest brother. Shen Kaiyu turned around. He did not know when did Shen Miao come over and just stood at the edge of the courtyard with four maids behind her as she gazed chilly at him. He did not know why but Shen Kaiyu actually felt a guilty conscience in his heart. He subconsciously placed the pastry down and asked, why younger sister came over. Shen Miao did not respond and lifted her foot to walk over to them. When she was nearer, one was able to see the four maids. Gu Yu, Jing's, Bei Lu and Xu Ang Zhang, were each holding a basket in their hands. Shen Zin asked, Zhao Zhao, what are the baskets holding? The weather today is somewhat cold so one thought that everyone would be thirsty when practicing sword play so one made soup. Shen Miao lightly swept a look at Shen Kaiyu and a chill went down Shen Kaiyu's back as he heard Shen Miao speaking. Let those soldiers come over to drink the soup. The mushroom chicken soup has been stewed since the early morning and it is good to warm one's body up. I will go and call. Ozzy who was standing by Shen Kaiyu's side saw it and in a short time was overjoyed. He ran over to the other side of the field and in a short while, dozens of soldiers followed back to the courtyard. Shen Mia led Jing's and the rest served the soup to everyone. These soldiers were Shen Zin's and Shen Kaiyu's most capable subordinates, thus they were directly placed in the general's residence. When the soldiers saw that there was soup to drink, they were very happy and said with smiles, young lady is considerate of us. Young lady really have a good heart. Course people were actually the easiest to win over and Shen Miao deeply knew this logic. After Ozzy drank a mouthful of soup, he exclaimed surprised, this soup is really not bad. In a few moments he finished it and handed it to Jing's, another bowl. Jing's rolled her eyes at Ozzy, of course it is good to drink. This was personally brewed by our young lady. Shen Zin and Shen Kaiyu heard this and were surprised for a moment. Shen Kaiyu said, younger sister personally brewed? Yes. Shen Miao said lightly, do not drink, it all belongs to this old one. Shen Zin hollered loudly, all are not allowed to drink. He rushed over to Gu Yu and roared, give me one big bowl. Luo Zhu Yan had just drank the white thick soup and was very surprised, Zhao Zhao, this soup is actually made by you. When did your culinary skills progress this much? The aroma of the soup floated around and naturally it attracted the yearning of others. Shen Miao eyes dropped as she said with a smile, just casually made it. In her previous life, in order to gain Fu Zayu Yi's favor in the beginning years, she honed her culinary skills and after she went over to Ken country, she learned many difficult recipes from those people who deliberately made things difficult for her. Speaking of which, she was one who had the personal experiences of two countries' royal families' dishes and had deeper knowledge than normal people. As for young ladies from small families who came over to the Ding capital for the first time, Shen Miao's eyes swept towards Jing Chu Chu. Jing Chu Chu was standing behind a pillar and this time she did not lower her head but bit her lips as she watched on with teary eyes at the course people drinking lively, as if she had suffered lots of grievances. One would feel that a deborn young lady's personally brewed soup was much more precious than a Bia young lady's snacks. Moreover Shen Miao even gave a portion to every soldier in the courtyard, thus in comparison to Jing Chu Chu who only prepared snacks for Shen Zin and Sun. She was considered too stingy and could not be taken to public. Jing Chu Chu was ashamed and angry and her gaze towards Shen Miao had a trace of hatred. Shen Kaiyu also wanted to drink the soup but Gu Yu and the rest did not give him any. Shen Kaiyu also detected this and guessed that it was most probably that Shen Miao was angry with him but was unsure what did he do wrong so he looked at Shen Miao anxiously. Shen Miao waited till everyone almost finished the soup then let Bei Lu bring out a bowl from the utmost bottom layer of the basket and said, 
You like it sweet so honey was included in this bowl, drink it, younger sister is great. Shen Kaiyu was overjoyed and drank it up in big mouthfuls when he took the bowl over. His gluttonous look made Shen Miao somewhat unbearable to stare. Those soldiers who had drank Shen Miao's personally brewed soup were half touched and half fond of it. Naturally they flattered Shen Miao another round and felt that Shen Miao did not have the noble temperament of a bossy and indulged young female, but was amiable, approachable and beautiful looking. She was simply like an angel. Shen Miao was surrounded by the soldiers and Jing Chu Chu was completely left out in the cold. She had the desire to leave a few times but at the end she bit her teeth and stayed. When everyone went back to practice their sword play, Shen Xin and Luo Zhu Yan also went over and Shen Kaiyu was sitting on the stone lion to rest. Shen Miao then walked over to Jing Chu Chu's side and said smilingly, Biao older sister's snacks are not badly made but people who practice martial arts would feel tired and thirsty after practicing swordplay, and you still made snacks which would have made their mouth drier. Shen Miao said beaming, next time, it is better to brew soup instead. Jing Chu Chu's face was green and white. Shen Miao's words were obviously exposing her guise of sending the snacks. Her intentions were not for the people practicing else she would not have brought over dry stuff, even though she was angry in her heart. On the surface Jing Chu Chu bowed her head in a panic, as if she was frightened. Many thanks to be a younger sister's pointers. Chu Chu will take note. Finishing. She looked towards Shen Kaiyu with pleading eyes, hoping that Shen Kaiyu would help her out of the situation. Unfortunately even though Shen Kaiyu had a sincere and utterly honest personality, he was like a wooden lump of wood who knows no romance in matters of men and female relationships, and only felt unfathomable with Jing Chu Chu's gaze. It was Shen Miao who laughed upon seeing this, just now eldest brother wanted to eat Biao older sister's pastry. Then need it now. Shen Kaiyu waved his hands, just had a bowl of soup and one is currently somewhat full and will not be able to eat it. Later will eat it. Shen Miao was very satisfied. The bowl of soup that was given to Shen Kaiyu was extra big, and she did not believe that after Shen Kaiyu had finished this bowl of soup, he would still have the space in his stomach to eat Jing Chu Chu's snacks. Unless Shen Kaiyu was a pig. Jing Chu Chu was somewhat disappointed. Shen Kaiyu stood up and said, I will also go and practice again. And then he headed to the courtyard. Seeing Shen Kaiyu's diminishing back view, Jing Chu Chu was somewhat not resigned to it and wanted to say something, but could only bit her lips as she watched. Shen Miao smiled gently and pat her hand. One fear that Biao older sister's snacks would not be nice to eat when it is cold. If Biao older sister does not mind, it can be sent over to second older brother. Second older brother? Jing Chu Chu looked puzzled at Shen Miao. Yes. Shen Miao smiled, like my eldest brother and the rest here, they would be at the bitter cold land in the northwestern region all year round, so they would not appreciate these exquisite things. But my second older brother is different. He entered official dem at a young age and even took up duty in the capital so his future prospects are limitless. Shen Miao shook her head and sighed. Unfortunately there is no one to take care of his well-being. Males are often no meticulous with food and clothes and Biao older sister's suju snacks perhaps would suit his taste. When Jing Chu Chu heard this, there was some uncertainty in her eyes. But she heard Shen Miao laughter. Perhaps in the future when second older brother have a wife, he would most likely be able to enjoy culinary treats. One do not know which young lady would have the good fortune to be my second sow. Biao older sister does not know but my second older brother is the man of many official families young lady's heart. Second young master. Jing Chu Chu hesitated a little before asking, does not have any young lady in mind till this day. Shen Miao said with a sigh. Second older brother is busy with court matters all day. How could there be time to look at young ladies? Jing Chu Chu had some thoughts but Shen Miao did not expose them. After speaking some more and seeing that Shen Kaiyu did not have any intention of stopping, it would be somewhat strange if Jing Chu Chu continued waiting so she then left. After Jing Chu Chu left, Shen Kaiyu then came over and looked at Shen Miao carefully for a while before saying, Younger sister, 
Why are you so strange today? How am I strange? Shin Miao said in a bad mood, is eldest brother angry about me interrupting you eating Biao older sister's snacks? I did not mean that. Shen Kaiyu's anxious face was somewhat red but he heard Shen Miao waved her hands uncaringly, never mind. But now you are at an ideal age and a number of young ladies are watching you and waiting anxiously. In the future when one pick a Sao Sao, one must open the eyes big. Shen Kaiyu understood these words and he reluctantly said, what is younger sister talking about? Biao younger sister did not have that meaning. She only came over to gift some snacks. If you really like her then go ahead and eat all of it. After finishing speaking, Shen Miao walked away without even turning her head back. At this moment, Shen Kaiyu had never seen Shen Miao being so angry with him and jumped in shock, and could only watch as Shen Miao walked further away. On the way back to the room, Gu Yu said, is it that young lady do not like be a young lady? Else why would one be that angry? Yes, I do not like. Shin Miao massaged her heart. She really hated Jing Chu Chu to the extreme. For such a prideful person like Shen Kaiyu, to break his legs, let him wear a green hat, making him a cuckold, and at the end send him to prison for a crime of murder. Such a snake-hearted female, she could not wait to skin Jing Chu Chu. But Shen Kaiyu had a kind temperament and would not understand that Wan's heart was that bad. So when she saw that Shen Kaiyu was almost confused by Jing Chu Chu's fake appearance, Shen Miao started fuming. But why does young lady mention second young master to be a young lady? Gu Yu said, perhaps be a young lady would turn her interest towards second young master. Shen Miao did not deliberately send away the few maids when speaking to Jing Chu Chu so Gu Yu could also heard the meaning behind Shen Miao's words. Shen Miao shook her head, she is not stupid. If she was moved by my few words then she would not be Jing Chu Chu. Shen Miao smiled gently, but it is good to have some intentions of change. The few maids were somewhat baffled and did not understand why Shen Miao treated this seemingly timid and delicate Bia young lady like a big enemy. Bao Xiang Lu was the biggest money squandering establishment in the Ding capital. Since brothels were classified into third, sixth and ninth ranks, then Bao Xiang Lu would definitely be considered as the top ranked in the Ding capital. A casually chosen young lady would be able to be the face of a normal brothel, be it thin or plump, feisty or gentle, cute, delicate or innocent, as long as one was able to think about it, Bao Xiang Lu would have. And therefore the prices of the young ladies in Bao Xiang Lu were the most expensive. Beautiful young ladies were at the door waving scented handkerchiefs to welcome the guests. A male wearing fine clothes walked in and attracted a few glances from the surrounding young ladies. Those who are able to come to Bao Xiang Lu were the rich and most of them were gentlemen from wealthy families or officials. But this male did not look like he was from a wealthy family and the murderous air around him made the young ladies to retreat. A red-clad middle-aged female walked out and saw him before smiling. Gentleman Mo came again? Is it to look for Liu Ying again? Mo King nodded his head and took out a piece of a bank note for the person in front. When that female got the bank note, she smiled in satisfaction. Gentlemen, please follow me and to bring you up now. Liu Ying had been waiting for you for these days. Mo King forcefully restrained the uncomfortable feelings in his heart and followed this person up with an undaunted face. The young ladies of Bao Xiang Lu were the most expensive and similarly the young ladies of Bao Xiang Lu were the best. Even though Liu Ying was not considered the number one in Bao Xiang Lu, she was famously beautiful but this was only relative to the rumors outside. In actual fact, there were always new young ladies coming in every day and each had different appearances and talents. Men were always enamored with the new and bored with the old Sol Yu Ying's guests had been reduced a lot. But recently the ladies of Bao Xiang Lu knew that the somewhat unfrequented Liu Ying had a big business lately. A young male would come over and visit her every three to five days. In Bao Xiang Lu, it was very rare to see a guest only picking out a single young lady. So everyone was speculating if he was going to redeem Liu Ying. Mo King followed that female to a little room upstairs and the red-clad female smiled as she withdrew. On the soft couch, 
A young female who was wearing a thin red dress leaned as she plucked the kin she was holding, her eyes were filled with emotions and there was an ambiguous smile on her lips as her clothes half exposed her shoulders, provoking one's wild and fanciful thoughts. Mo King took a deep breath and headed straight to the table and sat down. He poured a cup of tea for himself and started the course of the day stare blankly. The kin sound abruptly ended and there was an irritable look on Liu Ying's face. She walked to Mo King and angrily said, Gentleman Mo had come for a few times but only to turn a blind eye to Liu Ying, could it be to play with Liu Ying? Or to resent that Liu Ying is dirty? The sisters were all envious that she might be able to break clear of all troubles and hardship because there was a man who was willing to only pick her alone but they did not know that this man was impressive looking but useless. No matter what kind of techniques she threw at him, this person would not even look at her, much less anything else. Mo King shook his head but did not say anything and simply stared at the teacup in front. But his heart was extremely helpless. Shen Miao was indeed not wrong as this Liu Ying was a female with tens of thousands of flirtatious expressions, and previously when she tried different methods to tease him, Mo King himself almost could not resist that now an additional moment sitting here was a moment of more suffering, but Shen Miao wanted him to continue to sit. The more Liu Ying was enraged, the more the smile on her face became more seductive. She simply sat on Mo King's thighs and reached her hands out to his neck and whispered by Mo King's ears, Gentleman Mo. Do you bear to just let me sit here? A paw sounded and it was Mo Kin who pushed Liu Ying onto the floor. Sitting in Gu Ai Huo Lu, facing Bao Xiang Lu, in an elegant room, the table was filled with dazzling jade dishes and music filled one's ears as three people sat in the middle. A person who looked like a guard came in and whispered some things to the ears of the purple-clad youth who was sitting right in the middle. Speaking of which, Ji Yu Shu spoke puzzled. Why did Shen young lady let her guard go to Bei Xiang Lu to look for young ladies? Furthermore this guard only look and not eat. Zhao Yang added. As far as Shen Miao was concerned, Zhao Yang and Ji Yushu now would not view her as just a normal young lady with military lineage, as her every action seemed to have very profound meanings. Thus when they knew that Shen Miao had gotten Mo King to go to Bao Xiang Lu to look for ladies, both of their first reaction was which person was Shen Miao intending to pit against. Bei Zhaosheng's people were out observing for several days and the most shocking thing was that, that guard picked Liu Ying but did not do anything at all and sat in Liu Ying's room for the entire night before leaving. They inquired Liu Ying's background in detail and found that it was nothing special as she was just a female who was sold to the brothel and did not understand the deeper meanings behind Shen Miao's actions. Could it be that she wanted to train an eunuch to be a confidant? Ji Yu Shu's thoughts were always particularly strange, so now she let that guard adapt to the days of an eunuch in advance? Your thoughts are as always fantastic. Zhao Yang pondered, I think that she want to win Liu Ying over perhaps in order to deal with the two other households in the Shen family. But there is no need to look for Liu Ying. There are much more young ladies in Bao Xiang Lu that can seduce better than Liu Ying. He looked towards Zi Jingxing, third Zi, how do you see this matter? Zi Jingxing was looking outside the window at the moment and casted lazy glances at the two of them. You all are very free. In any case you also have some friendship with Shen young lady. Could it be that you do not care about it? Ji Yushu said, Z third older brother, you are so smart, you must know. I do not want to know. Zi Jingxing interrupted his words. Recently, I want to go out of the city. Is it because of the matter during Jade Rabbit Festival? Zhao Yang asked with a frown. The emperor intend to send the Z old man off to war. Zi Jingxing said, one cannot wait any longer. The Zi old man he mentioned referred to the Marquis of Linen, Zi Ding. Zhao Yang was silent for a moment before speaking, if that is the case, then it seems that it is too late. One heard that Shen Yuan is very close with Prince Ding lately. Zi Jing Xing's lips hooked up, seemingly preparing to deal with the first household of the Shen family. Shen young lady going to be unlucky again? Ji Yushu was somewhat surprised, 
Why does she always provoke those with ill intent that Prince Ding is not a good bird and which person that Prince Ding set his attention on have a good ending? Prince Ding is one that is enigmatic and impossible to predict. Zhao Yang frowned, although he looked powerless but his secret military power is not weaker than anyone else. Xin Xin has the military power on hand and a man's fortune is his own ruin by causing others greed. The Shen family is big and successful and is already feared by the imperial family. With Prince Ding dipping his hands in, one fear that Shen Xin could be destroyed. Would not Shen young lady be in danger? Ji Yushu looked at Zi Jing Xing, Zi third older brother, how do you want to help her? Zi Jing Xing raised his eyebrows, why should I help her? Are not you both considered as friends? Ji Yushu stared wide-eyed, did not you previously save her? You do not intend to help Shen young lady? Zi Jing Xing looked at him with a smile but not a smile, and his eyes were as deep as still water. It was clearly a dissolute style but the words that were spoken had a cold thin indifference, I need the Shen family to delay some time for me, so for Prince Ding to deal with Shen Xin. It is very good. Ji Yushu drew in a mouthful of cold air. In the Prince Ding's residence in the Ding capital, a young male was sitting on the highest seat, dressed in plain colored illustrious robes. He looked cold but when he was talking to people below him, he was however very cordial which melted that cold look a little. This was not someone else but Prince Ding. Yi. At the moment there were a few strangers sitting in the middle of the hall and these people were all Prince Ding's, Fu Yi's, aides. He knew how to put people to good use and also respected the wise. For an ordinary prince, even though he was to give money and land to aides, there was not one that would be as respectful as him. Not only that, they would sit with him on an equal footing, even when speaking. He would be extremely respectful and it was because Fu Ziyu Yi's had such an attitude, that he attracted a lot of wise aides. It was precisely because of these wise aides, that Fu Ziyu Yi's schemes and grand plans were able to stay hidden from the rest of the world, including Emperor Wen Hu. The young person that was sitting in the middle was clad in blue, and his looks were out of tune among these top official aides because he was too young. He stood up and Fu Ziyu Yi asked. Shen Yuan, do speak your thoughts out. Shen Yuan cupped his hands in obeisance towards Fu Ziyu Yi. He just entered officialdom and became Fu Ziyu Yi's people secretly. This Fu Ziyu Yi was one who was good in attracting talents and with the kind of ambitions that Shen Yuan had, so Shen Yuan would tolerate to live alone and simple so Fu Ziyu Yi would view him positively. Shen Yuan said, at present everyone is secretly building up forces and whoever have the troops, whoever would have more bargaining chips. Currently Ming Qi's military power is Southern Xi, Northern Shen. Even though the Xi family military power is magnificent, but His Majesty would be sending the Marquis of Lin and to war at the start of spring, so there are definitely other plans. The Xi family cannot be touched but the Shen family is different. Shen Yuan paused before continuing. Shen Xin took the initiative to request to stay in the capital for half a year more, and there are many who want to draw Shen Xin to their side. The Shen family army is a big variable and if one is unable to get it then it would be better to ruin it. If this is considered then it would even be of the same mind as His Majesty, and also prove to His Majesty that one do not have any ambitions. Shen Yuan himself was a member of Shen family but used the words Shen family which indicated clearly that he did not put himself together with Shen Xin, and was against him. Fu Ziyu Yi smiled at him, perhaps he understood but pretended not to know as Shen Yuan's words were after all, only bringing him benefits and no harm. He said, what you said was not bad but now there is no trace of any loophole in the Shen family, so even if one were to find a mistake, there would be no rationale. Shen Yuan did not speak. Fu Ziyu Yi's eyes flashed and his tone got even more amiable. But since you are in the Shen residence, you would definitely know things that ordinary people would not know of. He looked at Shen Yuan. If this matter can truly control the Shen family, your credit would be the largest. Hearing the assurance he wanted, Shen Yuan then respectfully spoke, replying your highness, Early on this official's people were mixed in the Shen family army and when they went to the northwestern region to fight, 
there are some matters that were not done according to the rules. At the moment evidences are still being collected but once the evidence is completed, this official would definitely offer it up with both hands. This official assure that this time even if the Shen family army is not completely collapsed, it would be at least badly affected. Fu Zayu Yi faintly smiled, then would need to trouble you for your care. Shen Yuan bowed down and smiled. 